Hi right, guys, Cliff here. Um, just had a comment on part nine of the Fokker video. Uh, Gary Gullickson said that uh, it was a good video, thanks for sharing, but these sorts of videos are great for people who might be afraid to get stuck in on a balsa build, the fear of covering and painting. Now, I never thought of anyone being afraid to have a go because of that feature. I mean, you don't learn anything until you have a go and okay my sort of videos are going to help but for goodness sake don't be afraid uh, if you're watching this of uh, building a balsa model because you don't know how to cover it really is quite simple and your first one will be pretty good and your second one will be even better so here this video is just going to be covering one of the wings of the Fokker I'm going to go into a lot more detail and um, feel free to ask any questions uh, the principles are the same whatever sort of covering you use. One thing I didn't show in the video by the way was um, testing the heat of your iron. So when your iron's hot you put a, a small, this isn't hot by the way, but you get a little scrap of, of the film cover and you put it on. If it shrivels right up then it's too hot. If not a lot happens then it's not hot enough. But the instructions, the instructions will tell you the ballpark figure to start on anyway. But that was a little test you can do. So let's get stuck right into the video. I'm going to cover one of the Fokker wings and I'm going to go into a lot more detail. I'll try not to edit too much of it and it's probably going to be quite long. So um, let's just get going and see what you think. Cheers. I'm going to show you how to cover a wing uh, using Solitex. This is translucent. It's still heat shrink with adhesive back. Um, the wing itself is um, the top wing of my Fokker triplane build. Uh, check out the videos if you want to watch that. And um, the tools required is an iron. And it's currently on about 135 degrees C. A knife, scissors and the film. And a nice area to work in. This particular wing has a carbon fibre lead and edge. And the aileron fits on the back. I've got four hinge holes here, robot pushing hinges. Um, there's one thing worth telling you, the uh, film isn't wide enough to go to full width. Uh, I had to cut it that way to get it all out of one sheet. So what I'm going to do is cover the wingtip separately, uh, which can be advantageous. And then I'm going to cover the bottom of the plane of the wing and the top of the wing. So let's begin. You start with the bottom because then all your cut edges are on the bottom. So I've got two bits here, one bit slightly longer than the other. And length is a good thing to have for tugging and pulling as you'll see. Oh, you also need some weights. So I'm going to start by putting this scrap on top of that part of the wing. So let's get going. Uh, one final thing, go over your structure really carefully for any little pimples that you've missed in sanding or anything like that because now is the final time. If there is anything underneath the wing, when you cover it, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. So just hold that in position, pull it over here, take it over there. You don't um, stick it all the way down at the moment. You're just sticking it down on the outer edges. It's the same technique for wing panels as well. And um, be careful not to put the iron on the bit that you're sticking on because it'll start shrinking before you're ready. So I'm just going to just put little dabs just to hold it in place. And if I'm happy with everything I've got there, then I can seal it down. And make out a good seal along there because we'll be pulling against it in a minute when well, in fact right now so did i mention you need weights the weights i've got are my old lifting weights which i can hardly lift <laughs> and i'm going to put one there in fact to stop it rocking around a bit i'm going to put a bit of balsa wood 
yeah that'll do nicely so put on plenty of weights because I'm going to be pulling this now and what you've got to do is you're aiming not to get any kinks on the actual bit that you're going to leave on the wing At the moment I'm pulling at 90 degrees to the surface and now I'm going to go halfway between the two this is the easy one the top wing rib is going to be a little bit harder the top tip is going to be harder because it's going to be at funny angles and there's going to be lots of um, kinks going on but what I'm doing is I'm pulling it down and heating it there's a kink here but I'm pulling against it so I'm sort of pushing the kink into the bit I've already stuck down that makes sense I'm also supporting the wing a little bit under the tip just to give it a bit of um, firmness it's going around very nicely the heat of the iron activates the adhesive but it also sort of shrinks the film around a bit because you've got a surplus of film as it goes around but by heating it as well that kind of like shrinks it as well so I'm going to go a little bit further and we'll have to turn it over and see what we've got if you do muck it up you just heat it all up pull it off cut a new bit so you're happy I haven't got much to pull on here but it's just enough I think Obviously the iron is very hot, so be careful not to burn yourself. Right, let's take a look at that. <coughs> That's not bad. I might be able to go up a little bit more. Let's have a look. Make sure your wing's suitable for taking the weight. By the way, you want to go crushing it. So I'm just going to go over the top a little bit more. So there's a there's a little um, area there that I'm going to heat it and pull it. If you heat it and pull it you'll pull that out I'm just going past the point where I'm going to cut it off and then I think it'll be great okay you can use scissors you can use scalpel I'll start with a scalpel this cut edge will be inside the wingtip you won't actually sort of see it so it doesn't need to be an absolutely perfect cut on this one if it was a solid wing tip that would be different now I don't want to cut onto that Bosworth particularly I'm gonna see if I can cut off and pull it back a little bit because it's gone up higher than it needed to which is great what I'm aiming to get there is a fairly straight cut because you will see the the edge possibly anyway through the top covering so we'll just finish that off that edge to do that looks very nice no kinks in it at all nice and smooth There's loads of videos online how to do this stuff. This is just me building a Fokker triplane. So I thought I'd just do my own version of the video. So 
if I show you that, you can see it's nice and smooth and fitted. I could I could shrink it out while I'm at it. Let's do it, shall we? Just run the iron gently over the top. And there you have it. Now we'll do the top part. First of all, I'm going to weight down. I'm going to get it at the right place. On the foot, a little bit more fabric out the front than out the back because I don't need to pull the back, but I do the front. And I'm going to leave a bit of fabric here that I can cut off. Everything happy? Yep. A bit there, take that around. And like that. Now it's going to pucker here a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to heat it and sort of pull it towards the side I'm working towards me. Oops. Heat it and stretch it down at the same time. Need another weight on that. <laughs> This is why you need a reasonable amount of fabric on the that you can get hold of to actually pull it. Just keep working it around. You might want to hold it for a second, let the adhesive cool enough to stay stay stuck. moving a bit, just put another weight on. Pull in. It's pretty tight and I haven't shrunk it out yet. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just going to trim that off there and I'll take that around the back, I think, because in fact, yeah, let's just um, cut that under there. Sometimes you've just got to think what you're doing. Trim that in a moment. Okay, let's have a look. Let's... See if it's gone around far enough to cut everything off. It looks like it has there. Yeah, okay. Let's just trim that off. Again, you can use scissors if you prefer. Sometimes you can 
get a better couple of scissors. thicknesses of fabric to get through. It's going to be easier to do it with scissors. this then. What I'm going to do is just cut off, although I don't need to, I was going to say cut off the surplus, but what I think I might do is keep the surplus on the inside and stick it to the inside of the rib. The reason being, um, if I heat this too much, it could slip off and come off the end of the rib. But if I stick it to the inside of the rib, it can't go anywhere. the wing tip done so now you can see why stretching and pulling makes a big difference because you've got a lovely smooth no wrinkled tip so next part of the build um, cover job is to do the bottom of the wing and we do this by exactly the same technique really do the bottom first and then the top And I want enough to come around the back and down the front. So we start with the bottom. And I'm going to pull this around. Uh, the only consideration I've got is getting it lined up with this wingtip there like that. Everything else can go to fit. But that's the maximum width, you see, wasn't quite wide enough. I'm going to come around the front a little bit. Onto there. Yeah, looks good. So we're just going to put one there and one up the opposite end and then start on the corners. see what I'm doing if I needed to pull it off it's only stuck on the very edge of the wing so it come off clean if I had a 
big kink or suddenly realised I've got it in the wrong place. Put another one there. And you just fill in the halfway point between all of those. And when you're happy, start going all the way around, getting it completely sealed on the perimeter. Now, if you had a surplus of fabric on the leading edge, now would be the time to trim it. I haven't exactly got a surplus. It's actually just um, perfect. So what I'm going to do is leave it as it is and just push it over the leading edge in this case because you won't see that bit inside the wing when the top, top cover comes on. But by going over the top a little bit, it just provides a slightly better um, surface area to glue it, doesn't it? I'm not going to stick this down to the wood yet because I want this to shrink with the whole area and when it's shrunk then I'll stick it down. Uh, the back edge again now would be the time to trim it once it's stuck down. If anything's sticking up over the top you trim but this is a close fit and there is nothing so I wouldn't recommend cutting it quite so fine but I was uh, going to be um, running out of fabric on this build so everything's been cut close. Okay there we are, that's the bottom nearly cut. Um, I'm going to turn this around and stick it onto the inside of the wing slightly. Uh, to do that I'm going to trim it there and likewise on the back edge use a knife. And also I've got a joining bar to trim around, so I'll cut that one as well. Now I don't need all this fabric on the inside, so what I'm going to do, in fact it's advantageous to leave some of these air holes, so when you heat it up the hot air can escape, makes life slightly easier. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn it over a small amount, 5mm, quarter inch, just enough to make a good seal on the end. Let's just trim that like that. Okay, a um, little bit of advice, don't leave any bits on your board. Invariably they'll get stuck right in the middle of your wing and the adhesive won't allow you to pull it off without uh, leaving horrible residue or whatever. Uh, 
have a surplus of fabric there which I can't really pull off so I'm going to trim it off now. You can use an ordinary domestic iron if you haven't got one of these filming irons. This is a Prolux. Um, but they do get heavy and they can get a bit um, adhesive underneath them if you're not careful. Well, you can also get a sock that goes on it. It's literally a sort of a heat proof sock so, so as you don't mark the surface of the film. Not quite so necessary with this particular film because it's not the sort that scratches. Okay, so that's the bottom done. Any questions? No? Okay, let's crack on. The top is the same, but we're going to have a I've got to get that a nice edge and it's possibly going to want trimming. We'll see. Oh, that's a tight fit. Didn't realise it was a cut it quite as tight as that. It's very close. Actually, now it's running along nicely, so we'll pull it back a little bit, get it in a good place. Course, I, it's a longer distance over the top than the bottom so perhaps I should have cut slightly wider for the top. I wouldn't recommend cutting it qu uh, quite as tight as this. Right. Just get away with it though. Just Lovely. Right. Just work on small bits at a time. If I just go all the way along, you'll end up with a kink. Always draw it away from the surface like this to sort of maintain a, a sort of a tension that isn't there yet. Right, if that had been a little bit longer, I'd now trim it along the bottom edge with the knife. Same with the top edge, if it had been longer, probably use scissors, get a nice straight edge. Okay, just this end to do, same as the other side, we're just going to cut off about a quarter of an inch, just to wrap it around a little bit less on the back edge here, it's a bit, hasn't got the depth. Sometimes you've got to apply a little bit more heat when it's plywood you're sticking it to. It just seems to need it. This wing is going to be painted. So 
any little areas which are slightly iffy will get covered if it were the finished film and, and uh, pre-coloured then well it's, it's still a pretty good finish okay so that's ready to cut um, shrink out start on a flat surface and you can use your hot air gun on this or you can just gently run the iron over it like this just to start the shrinking process off but not just ever so lightly touching it so it's just skimming over the ribs I'm not going to superheat it or get it absolutely stretched out because I want to turn it over and start the process on the bottom as you might end up with a banana shaped wing which you can get out it's just better if you don't start with it so just very gently moving it over I've got a servo hole to cut out here if you've got a servo halfway down the wing then you want to make sure well it's useful if you have a uh, bit of string going down to pull the wire down which makes life a bit easier so it's coming up getting it in the light looking for any areas that you can always if you get a sag or see a sag next day you can always go over it again uh, there's a strut fix in here so that needs to be stuck down there I'm going to cut this hole out so this has got to be stuck down pretty well Press that down. That still looks pretty good to my eye, warp wise. If it was warped, what I would do, what I do do, just say it's twisted one way and not more one way than the other, put some weights on one end. Put a bit of wood where in the opposite direction you want it to twist and just go over with the iron weighted so as it's it's weighted in a, the opposite twist go over with the iron and when you take it off it'll be a lot closer to being flat um, the other thing I've got to do on this is to um, put make these hinge holes open again easiest way to do that is just to use a soldering iron just melts the way through as quick as that so let's have, uh, let's have a look at that turn it down a bit this servo opening If you don't go all the way, like I haven't joined them up in the middle yet, if you don't go all the way, it sort of self supports everything and then you can finish it off. The tip of the iron is very useful 
for getting into these little areas sometimes. Okay, so now I can just drop the servo on, which is fixed to the back of the tray, just drop it straight on there, screw it in, connect up the air one. And that's it, that's the wing done. There you are, how to cover a wing. I didn't look at the clock, best part of an hour I think, or 50 minutes. Any questions, stick them in the comments below. And thanks for watching, check out my channel. Um, got lots of building videos, flying videos, all sorts of interesting stuff. So thanks for watching and uh, give the video a thumbs up and check out my channel and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. If you want to see what Fokker triplane looks finished, then um, have a look at the Fokker triplane build in my playlists and you'll see it there. Okay guys, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers to everybody, that's what I say.